Yo, let's talk about it, man. We might have possibly had the fight of the year. It's up there with the Wilder versus uh Fury. Um, what else? What else we had? Uh, no, Chocolate Tito. That was was that this year? Or was that last year? I think the Chocolate Chocolate Tito fight was um was this year, right? Beginning of this year, right? On my bugging. But yeah, it's up. It's it's easily up there as one of the fights of the year. Um. Everybody was, and you know that was one of the, that was one of the things. Yeah, that, uh, the chocolate Tito fight was this year, um, versus uh, uh, Juan Estrada or whatnot. But man, it's up there, top three for sure. This was a championship fight. This was a unification uh match as well. Both guys brought their own strap to the table. The WBC, the WBO. Oh man, it was just action packed. I probably say it was action packed from round one to round twelve. We we probably didn't have more than five seconds. Any, I don't think we had a dull moment that lasted more than three to five seconds. Right? This was this was a uh, this was a great fight and effort from both Fulton and Figueroa. Cool boy Steph prevailed. Uh, it was some it was a dispute at the end of the fight, but uh, let's talk about it, man. So I want to say what I had on my scorecard. Now I'm gonna say this right. My scorecard, I had it Fulton, slight edge, slight edge. But honestly, it depends It depends on how you score those last two rounds, right? If you gave any of those last two rounds, for me, mine, mine came down to the 11 and 12. If you gave any of those last uh, two rounds to, to Figueroa, you could say that fight is a draw. But if you had both of those for Cool Boy Steph, like I did, I, I gave him the slight edge. I just felt like he had to clean the work in those two rounds. Um, he just landed though. He was he did a great job of countering. Um, and it and and it showed, man. Um, I don't agree with the judges that had it one sixty one twelve. That's a little that's a little too crazy for me, per se. But uh, man, just all in all, a great fight. Uh, I want I want I want to know what's gonna happen next. We had we had Stephen Fulton giving his uh post his post fight speech in the ring. Brandon Figueroa came up to him and said, "You really think you won that fight?" Like, I don't understand, man. What's up with the delusion today, man? Uh, I can understand if you feel like you might have won the fight, but don't make it seem like it wasn't a close fight. And uh, 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 Fulton said that in the ring. He said it was a close fight, but I feel like I did the better work. I had the cleaner punches. I did a great job of countering you. Uh, uh, Figueroa had a bunch of arm punches. A lot of punches weren't landing flush. I've seen, if you really look at the, the more, if you really look at the fight again, the, the punches that really made, uh, you seen the head snap back. You seen a lot of uh, reaction to. A lot of that was coming from. A lot of that was coming from Figueroa, man. A lot of those uppercuts he was landing clean. A few good hooks on the inside from Fulton was landing uh, flush. Now I will say this: Figueroa had the. He had way more activity. Like if you look at the punch stats, I think he out threw him. Maybe a, I think it was like a thousand. I can find that right now. I think it was like a thousand to like eight hundred or so. So that's pretty much two hundred more. 200 more punches for Figueroa than Fulton, but it's not about just throwing. It's about the effective aggression. It's about landing the cleaner punches. So I got the stats right here. It says Figueroa threw uh, 1,060 punches to uh, Fulton 726, right? But um, if you look at the total punches, uh, Figueroa landed 314 to Fulton's 269. But you can't just go based off that. It's, it's based off a round. But if you look at the percentage, Figueroa landed 30% of his punches to uh, Fulton's 37. Now, I will say, it, it was definitely, I felt like this was either a draw or a split, a close decision by Fulton. Uh, I, I Like I said, I had it either a draw or 115-113 Fulton. But in no way was this a robbery. A robbery is like, uh, what's that, that the dudes that fought for that thing was a WBA regular or interim? Uh, I think it was like Mikael Fox and uh, the Maestre or some some something like that. I forgot the dude's name, but that's a robbery. Uh, I feel like even the um Jamel Charlo versus Castano fight the for undisputed that was closer to a robbery than this fight. Um, and and honestly they got into it they got into it a little bit after the ring man they were going back and forth. Uh, Figueroa kept saying the fans know I won. You, you there's no way you won, man. Uh. He thought he thought he could have won that eight uh eight four so uh he's a little delusional on his from his side and, and we're gonna talk about the Tia Fimo and uh Cambosa fight in another video but uh a little delusion coming from him as well Tia Fimo he lost today 
we're gonna talk about that but this is the uh brendan figueroa and fulton review so we're gonna keep it on topic right now gotta get my gotta get my water man we gotta hydrate out here bro uh man I, I i really want to know what's next uh they asked figaro uh full actually before they asked figaro um fulton said fulton said that he would run it back with figaro if he really felt like if he really felt like uh he won that fight and figaro was a little iffy on that um he he, he was kind of like yeah but then they said, so you're not going up to you're not going up to 126. He said, yeah, I'm going up to 126. So what is what's it gonna be? But I guess the point he was trying to get at was like, if they rob me tonight, what would be the point of a rematch? They'll probably give it to him again. So he, I might as well go up to 126. Um, I guess that's gonna be the plan. I don't know what or I don't know what uh organization he's gonna um try to uh, move the ladder in. I'm pretty sure it'll be the WBC, which uh he just which he just held. Um, considering there, there's another PBC fighter, uh, Showtime, I think Gary's on Showtime as well, yeah, Gary's a Showtime fight, fights on Showtime, <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, it's a, it's another Showtime fighter in, um, Gary Russell Jr., so, um, that's who holds one of the belts at, uh, 126, and Brendan Figueroa is just a big 126, you could say the same thing about Fulton, but Figueroa is 5'8 at fighting at, uh, 122 and whatnot, so, um, let me go take a look real quick. But I would love to see. I would love to see what happens next. We we still we can still we can get a fight if uh if Brandon Figueroa really doesn't want to um if he really doesn't want why is this showing it like this? Hold on. If Brandon Figueroa really doesn't want the um. If he really doesn't want the rematch, oh yeah, here you go right here. If he really doesn't want the rematch, there's the, uh, uh, we can go on let Fulton fight for undisputed. Uh, we got the uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Amak. I don't even know how you say his name. It's like Amakov, but I'm not even gonna ask. Amaka Daliev or whatever his name is. I've seen him fight before. Uh, he holds the WBA and the IBF, so that's a that's that would be a huge fight. Uh, give him give him a little bit of breach, man. Let him um. Uh, let him come on over to Showtime, fight for Undisputed. That builds up Steph, uh, Fulton's, uh, th that builds up, uh, Fulton's resume. It builds up his, uh, I guess you could say, builds him up to be possibly on the pound for pound list. And then Fulton's another big guy. I can see him moving up to 126 in the next, uh, year or two as well. So, um, and then we had, uh, anyway, we had anyway tweet some things about, uh, Fulton during the fight. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, he wrote it in Japanese, but thank, uh, thankful for Twitter that, uh, they have the translate button. You can see what he said, right? So he tweeted this. This was probably early on in the fight. Oh, excuse me. He said, I saw Fulton boxer for the first time, but the level seems to be high if it is a technical game. And, uh, man, I could honestly, uh, anyways, a little bit small, but I can see him moving up to 122 and getting a strap, man. I'm not necessarily, he's, he's, he's a dangerous puncher. He's Really high boxing IQ, uh, really hook, really high uh boxing ability and skill. Got the power. I don't know. I don't know how much that would probably translate to a bigger guy like Fulton, but I can see him hurting a few guys at uh at 122. Honestly, um, he's already a dangerous puncher at 118. Four extra pounds. I don't know if that's gonna be all the world and the difference. Uh, all the difference in the world. Excuse me, but uh, let's see what happens from there. Uh, like I said, man, this was just a great fight all in all, man. I would love to know what you guys thought in the comment section below. I would love to see you guys score cards. If you if you uh did round by round, I would love to know uh what you guys had it, what you guys had to score. Was it a draw? Did you have Figueroa? Did you have um did you have Fulton? Um was it a robbery like 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 uh Brandon Figueroa is saying? Robbery? That's that sounded a little crazy to me. Um and what fights would you be looking forward to from Fulton? That's that's the real that's the real big question because uh we already had Figueroa saying he's going up to one twenty six. So what like the only fight left I think that makes sense is for Undisputed. Um unless there unless there's gonna be like a mandatory call, um which I highly doubt. Uh we'll see maybe a Daniel Roman Roman. Um maybe he fights, maybe he fights, uh he gets called for the mandatory, they build that up. 
uh, and then we get an undisputed possibly. But and we also had uh, Aileen fight today too. So he's gonna be the he probably be uh, end up he'll probably end up being a mandatory for uh, Akhmadliev. I don't even know how you say his name. I've heard his name pronounced a few times, but I just can never say it, man. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't want to drag this video on too long. We're already at the 10 minute mark. Uh, I'm going to do a recap on Tia Fimo versus George Cambosa's fight after this one. So stay tuned. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, with that being said, man, deuces. Peace.